He <laughs> allegedly brushed his teeth. I think he was in there whacking to my mom's memorial <laughs> photograph. He looked it was good like, in it. It was like you going in there and pretending to wash your hands. Uh -huh. He got his toothbrush wet. <laughs> yeah. He ran the sink a uh, couple of times. And, and then I ate two. <laughs> I ate two um, little peppermint candies. Yeah. <laughs> brushing my teeth. Yeah. He kept yelling, "This toothpaste tastes great." <laughs> <laughs> my brush is in right now that's like when i would fake wash my hands i'd say this soap feels so good <laughs> is this lemon verbena oh my god is this lavender or lilac i always get confused when i'm using hand soap on my hands i love the exfoliating beads in the hand soap mm -hmm. yeah it's so boba. silky boba yeah uh -huh. boba hand soap boba is it's the fat is about is popping off i feel like you think boba's time is not i saw boba no boba was at del taco i saw del taco had like <laughs> usa branded boba drinks Whoa. real chicken flavor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you like green good. sauce or red sauce in your bobas <laughs> can i get christmas style boba <laughs> <laughs> I was able to identify where the Best Buy is in Parker, Colorado. My dad and I went back and forth while you were in the bathroom. I hated that. Why? Because it was like, just fucking Google it. No, I know where it is. I just don't remember the name of that street because I haven't lived here in 20 years. But I was like, it's across the street from the old Parker Police Department. And he was like, no, no, it's by the new 7-Eleven. And I was like, there's a Del Taco by it. And he was like, yes. <laughs> that's what brought us together. Because yeah. that Del Taco got me through in high school. Del yeah. Taco Dude, slaps. Those, those no, sorry, it's a Jack in the Box. Oh no! Uh, yes, not as good. No, it's better because they have those little dog food crispy tacos. I've never had those. Oh, the, the uh, tiny come ones. Come on, man. Dude, no, they're monster tacos. Oh, they're monster tacos. That's what they're called. No, I they're like they as big as the palm of your hand. I thought they had tiny mm. ones. They, I think they they might have regular tacos and monster tacos. I don't think there's tiny ones. They have monster energy drink flavored tacos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are good. those are good. So I, I'm going to pull back the curtain a little bit. We are actually here in uh, Elizabeth, Colorado, in my childhood property. It's this nice. Is, this is the barn my mom built after the old barn burnt down randomly on Christmas Eve, the one Christmas we didn't spend here. <laughs> it was crazy. Even as a kid, I was like, this smells like my sister's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's fishy. <laughs> oh, God. Are you insinuating something? <laughs> That's what you get. Oh, yes. God. Instant karma. See, mommy. John, <laughs> mommy, your ghost is everywhere. <laughs> Sean Lennon is watching. <laughs> Sean Lennon's watching, too. Mm. That's his baby boy over there. Little Sean. Beautiful but, boy. But, yeah, we, we <laughs> pulled up at the bottom of that hill last night where I told you to wait for Pat. And the it was Christmas morning. For some reason, we spent the night at my aunt and uncle's house in Levere's, which we'd never have done before that or after that. And we were driving up the hill, and this barn was just gone. It was built in 1898. It had disappeared. Checking your phone immediately, huh? Was so it tuning scoring? out? Yeah, yeah. Do you need to like get? Shut up! Tell to, the fucking story. No, no. Do you need to check in on if Ted Lasso season four? Is <laughs> no, coming? it's Lasso. <laughs> it's not bitch. Lasso. That's Dave Lasso, the guy yeah. that you ruined. <laughs> oh yeah, the I guy, shattered Lasso. The guy, the guy that you puppeteered it and wasn't then that destroyed. Korean poontang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep talking about how your mom burned this place down for right. the money. So anyway, I let it was it was gone, and there was a bunch of fire department people around here. This is such an interesting story. This is better than any story you've told in the last two years. I'm wrapped. Yeah, you're gonna be wrapped up in duct tape, <laughs> and thrown in the pond. But it was gone because some kids were smoking cigs in here, and well, not in here, in the old property, and it burnt down. And then my mom and dad built this beautiful, just homage to country living, in southwestern style. And now we're in it, and my dad bailed. Yeah, well, yeah. we had three mics. Um, it's really, I like it a lot in here. Thanks, Pat. It's yeah, nice of you great. to say that as a guest in my mom's uh, memorial. <laughs> <laughs> we're here in my mom's tomb. Tomb, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, even, I didn't even mind sleeping on this tiny couch. It's you not tiny. It You're huge. You yeah. don't blame the couch for your specific If it was just a little longer and a little deeper, I would have had the night of my life. Yeah, it's me describing my <laughs> dick on prom what? night. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have been doing down here if it was longer? I, would have had, I just meant I would have had a good night's sleep. Somersaults. And yeah. You would do log and hedgehog rolls <laughs> back and forth from armrest to armrest. You could have baked cookies on the couch. <laughs> mm. You would have written the greatest song of all time. 
Ooh, this couch is huge. <laughs> I feel like a baby in my mama's arms. Yeah. Hey. It's Ooh. leather, so I can't be nude. <laughs> Catch a wave, dude. I'm going to wake up sticking to the c- c- cushion. <laughs> Why would he do an Alan Jackson song out of nowhere? <laughs> because he's in the country. It'll just go through him. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just be sent to him. Uh-huh. That's by Dwight Yoakam. <laughs> Mama, I'm so little on this big old couch. <laughs> <laughs> also, I wasn't saying that it would be about the couch. <laughs> Just that he would be so rested and inspired and, co- and comfortable. <laughs> well, you, you should have pulled it out. No, no. This thing you, opens up. You, Dude, you God, did, you were—you did not sell that. You were making it sound like it was a saw trap. He, you were playing mind games. You were like, "Yeah, it pulls out. It's the worst experience you'll ever have." But pull it out. It'll kill you and wreck your back and your front. Uh, but pull it out. And so it was like, "Dude, what?" This, I didn't these know are mixed what to messages. Believe, so I figured it wasn't worth. My effort. dad was like, "It's not that bad." It's like, "You old bitch, you never slept on this thing." Also, he's. A lot lighter than any of the three of us, so he might not experience and it the said same the way. The cushion was this thick. I was yeah, like, that, no, I'll pass. it's terrible, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> really. You have you, pull have, it you, out, have you banged on this? Oh yeah. The pull out. Oh yeah. Oh What's god. What's his name? Yeah. The couch. Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Henry the brown couch. <laughs> you fucked this. Couch Henry for the sure. brown couch. <laughs> I slept on you. I woke up. I said, "Ouch, ouch." I'm now I'm a groucher. The day is ruined because I'm cooking in the sun. That's the worst part. <laughs> Is we would like drink apple pucker in here until 4 a.m. and then <laughs> I would try and you know bemuse some young thang <laughs> on this couch, and then she invariably would grow tired of my advances, and I'd say, "Shut up, shut up." <laughs> Yuck. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so the couch would suck and it would hurt and our back. She backs. wouldn't. <laughs> no, well, you know. No. Sometimes she would. Oh. There was there was a whole bevy of young buxom babes coming through this place. Just wanting to sit on Henry. Yeah. And at two AM they'd say, My dad's on his way and I'd say, Please, my friends are upstairs fucking. Don't leave me. I'm gonna have to say that you put out and they they would say, Don't do that or I'm calling the cops and I'd say we're not in Elizabeth, technically. You have to call the sheriff. <laughs> and they're not allowed on my property. Yeah, and my mom has a gun. Um, but anyway, they would leave. Or they would go, you know, they would grow tired of me trying to finger them with my nublets. And they would sit in that chair, and they would sleep there. And then I would sleep on this thing nude, and I'd wake up <laughs> with the sun directly on me, sweating apple pucker at like 7 a.m., <laughs> just reeking. Yeah. And they're over there, smoking cigarettes inside, just watching me, being like... You pig. <laughs> you pig. Smoking in here, huh? We used to smoke in here all the time. It was such a nasty thing to do. It <laughs> is. It was so fucked up. Did it, how much did it look like this? Back yes. Then? Yes. My mom immediately. No, there started. were a bunch of Larry Johnson and Alonzo Morning posters. <laughs> it could have been, they could have added more stuff later. No, no. I mean, that inlay over the fireplace is new. Uh, my mom's funeral shroud. That's a new addition. <laughs> yeah, they didn't predict it. <laughs> yeah, this this photo actually ended up being pretty prescient because two out of the three people in this picture are dead now. So Aunt Julie, you better be on the lookout. Who's in the middle? That's my grandpa. Which one? That's William Taylor. That's uh, William Baird Taylor. Baird. From Como, Mississippi. <laughs> who owned slaves until the '60s? God bless him. The no, 1960s. God not bless him. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I know. It's not good. But, you know, no, you love it. Right you just now. said God bless. <laughs> well, that's what you say after someone does something nasty, right? <laughs> he was the guy who took me to see uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. And afterward, I asked him, Grandpa, what do you think? And he lit a cigarette and he said, it's for children, Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing that suit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at that's the, at the way movies. saying it was super gay. Yeah, exactly. It's for young homos like you, Samuel. <laughs> I'll be in the car. You finish up in the arcade. Make sure you wash your hands for real. <laughs> <laughs> FR, FR. He knows. <laughs> Ham unit. He knew. He, <laughs> gay boy. He knew your move. Yeah. <laughs> FR, FR. Yeah. No cap. Before I went to Nikki Patterson's birthday, we went to see Bicentennial Man. Oh. <laughs> Remember that movie? Robin Will. Yes. And Nikki was very pretty. And he took me to Target to buy her a birthday gift because I didn't want to show up. He didn't want me to show up empty handed. 
I think in his head it was like the equivalent of like you always bring a bottle of wine or a cigar to a dinner party, <laughs> you know. So he was. We were like in the girls section. I was like 13, and he was like, "Is this a special girl?" And I was like, "No, she's just like a normal girl like me." And he's like, "Yes, but is she special?" And I was, th- I kept thinking that he thought that he was, if she was retarded, yeah, <laughs> like only a retarded girl would invite you to her birthday, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> no, he meant, do you have a crush on this? Girl? Yeah, do you like this? And even young then, lady? I knew she was unattainable. Too she was hot. out of my, out of my league. I got invited because I was the funny guy, and Mikey <laughs> Colhanic was booked. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he it. was on the road. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he was featuring for <laughs> Jake Sharon. I went to my senior prom with uh, one of my friend's older sisters who already graduated. That's how'd a fat you, guy move. How'd you pull that? They felt bad for me. Oh, nobody wanted to go. She would with only you. dance with me during slow songs. It was bullshit. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you're saying that wasn't as good because the fast songs you were grinding. Oh, yeah. it was grind city, baby. Right, okay. Mm. At first I was like, Well yeah, you're close. I was like, it's during my senior a prom, song. I wanna grind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what mm-hmm. the fuck? <laughs> I I ground the round. You should have danced in a circle. Then there isn't any grinding, but you're still having fun. Yeah, you should have started oh. Hava Nagila. All my homies <laughs> were in in the middle of the pit grinding. All my homies <laughs> stay grinding. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm having another cup of punch. <laughs> no one can tell me no. Oh, shit. Celine Dion's playing. Let's dance I better again. find that 28-year-old. <laughs> uh-huh. I better find that beautician. <laughs> Make eyes with her across. She was hot. She was hot. Yeah, but you were never going to get in. No. You never had a shot. No. I didn't. Fucking mutant. <laughs> I didn't get laid in high school. You didn't? Uh, nope. When did you when did you in blast? Collage. How old were you? I was a sophomore. Twenty two. I've always been a late bloomer. You didn't have a penis until twenty one. <laughs> you're like, it Whoa, hey. Out. It was an any before that. <laughs> that old broad was right. <laughs> I am a boy. Yeah. You just, <laughs> if you just keep praying to Kabbalah. <laughs> I, st- I knew these were balls. <laughs> and so <not> eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you college, huh? Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Walk me through that. Uh, we had a party at our house, and we had these friends that would come to Greeley from Boulder. It was like this group of girls that my other roommate S- knew. Slumming it. Dude, yeah. We would party at their house. One of them had like a sick cabin that we'd get fucked up in. Anyways, they came to Greeley one time. Cause we were they do... going to school at CU Boulder? Yeah. And they came to Greeley? Yeah, because we were unhinged. We what, would do what? shit like light couches on fire in the alley and like break plates in the basement. Yeah, because you weren't getting laid. <laughs> Smoke inside. <laughs> as soon as you got laid, you're like, this mess is untidy. <laughs> When you're young, you're like, yeah, we'll smoke inside because it's so cool. And then you get older and it's like, God, just go outside. No, Fuck. no. Keep smoking inside as long as you can. No, smoke kids. Smoke in the shower no. if you can. We had a guy on the couch who yeah. didn't pay rent. Casey, who I'm going to stay with in Milwaukee. Thank God. So that's kind of co- repaying itself. So these like <laughs> these worthless <laughs> pigs came to your house from Boulder. <laughs> yeah. No, they were great. I lo- they were very fun. Um, they must have been fun if they were like, Boulder's not for us. We don't want to hang out with a bunch of dudes with ski passes and like Patagonia jackets. Yeah. We're going to go hang out with Fat Pat, <laughs> Ricky, Smoogie on the couch. Lucas, Mason, Josh. Black Casey. Dante. Shout out to the 929. Um, well, they there threw cool come. parties. One time, uh, it was like a 1990s party. And this guy was like, this fat white guy was dressed like... Quit talking about yourself in the third like person. <laughs> <laughs> he was dressed like he was dressed like an old timey guy, and I went up to him was like, "Oh, eighteen nineties, that's really funny." And he's like, "No, I'm dressed like Biggie Smalls." Uh, I was like, "That's crazy." The blackface didn't give it away. And then a magician <laughs> pulled a card out of an orange that was on the fridge. What? He uh, peeled it, and there was a card inside of it. Whoa! What? <laughs> yeah. That's- Whose card was it? Uh, it was the Biggie Smalls. <laughs> yeah. And then that guy like went method on Biggie and ran out of the room saying, No! Christopher <laughs> Wallace. Shit! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no! He, he stayed in character for show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just hands on his face. Ah! Oh, starts doing the robot. <laughs> 
<laughs> he fell out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> like the rap gif. Yeah. I'm not a rapper. And okay, the, so these girls they came, came to Greeley. Over. We had a party. We had a rager, a kager, whatever. What was in the keg? Heineken? Oh, it was probably PBR. Rolling Rock. Or Rolling Rock. Yep. Um, and Old gold. We were just vibing, and then she like slept in my bed with me, and we talked like late into the night and like till like three in the morning and then she's like do you have any condoms out of nowhere yeah she's like i don't usually do this like it you. wasn't even super flirty or sexual it was just like getting to know each other yeah i think we made out a little bit too before that okay i don't so remember you probably came in your pants secretly <laughs> i think we did two positions and then i came it was probably like six minutes that's great that's my like, my first time i was glad that i lasted five minutes i was like you did it buddy it was cool. In the mirror, slapping your chest. <laughs> yeah, alpha dog. <laughs> I'm like Justin Timberlake in you're that the movie ma- that's about the, to come out. You're the man. <laughs> yeah. And then I. So she says, "Do you have any condoms?" Her, obviously. And you say, "It's a little late for water balloons." <laughs> <laughs> All my friends are sleeping. I did. How how hard you did you fall for her? Pretty hard. Did I mean, she was cool. It? But yeah, she was not interested in dating me for show. Yeah, she didn't want anyone to know that she fucked some bum and Greeley. Some no, trash. Everyone yeah. knew the next day. We all went and got <laughs> breakfast the next day. I feel like everyone knew. Yeah, because you yeah, probably you reeked. You yeah. smelled of sex. Uh-huh. sex it's yeah. a very particular smell. And you also came out with sunglasses on, going. <laughs> <laughs> Three cigarettes in my mouth. Morning, fellas. Who's got a light? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can someone get her some orange juice? She's probably all worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Six minutes in heaven. <laughs> I was on top, and then we did it on our side. Because <laughs> I got tired. <laughs> yeah, because I cramped up. Because I cramped up. Yeah, oh, the cramps. God What's damn. the worst cramp, do you think? This one. Yeah. The, this the, one. The horsey. Front Charlie. I don't Calf get that one. Calf sucks. Calf sucks because you think you're having a blood clot, and you're going to die. <laughs> and you shoot now out of I bed. Am. Fuck. Yeah, that one's scary. But yeah, this one right here. I don't get that one. Also... These huh. pec cramps suck. Stomach cramp sucks. Stomach cramp. I don't have my period like you, so I don't know about that. <laughs> well, like you just hit a weird position. And you're like, ah. mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, when I'm trying to wipe sometimes, you can get the oblique cramp and it's it hurts. It's a tough one because you have to keep trying to wipe. You can't just be like, well, I guess I'm done. <laughs> yeah, you just lay on the floor. <laughs> Wait for Creech to come home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put my feet up in the air. Yeah, Hey, Creech, open Creech. the door. Let the dogs in here. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. George. <laughs> George Awful. Mikey, it's your birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate Frosty. Oh, no. My <laughs> making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That killed out here, huh? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Pat loved it. He, twe- he tweeted it. <laughs> I jacked it. We slept in here in this big open space last night. Pat was on Henry. Lum was upstairs <laughs> on Mama Grunda. And me and my dad were in bed together. And I woke up this morning at 8, and my dad was right here. <laughs> it was just Dave T's, like, sleeping prone face. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Interesting that you name the couches, but not the bed. So the bed... Is a number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Three point one four. Is that a sleep number or just a number? Uh, That's pi, dog. It's pi, stupid. Oh, so it goes on forever. Mm-hmm. That's what my dad would always say. We call it pi because I go on forever in here. <laughs> my mom would say, "David, shut up." <laughs> God, he's right. <laughs> he's insatiable. I'm exhausted. I'm tired all the time. I'm cramped up. <laughs> Cramped up, bricked up. I was surprised because uh, I got like a giant blanket from Dave, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna be a sweaty mess immediately." Mm-mm. And it breathed somehow. Yeah. It's a huge, like, thick blanket, mm-hmm. but I didn't get that that messy. My grandma wove that blanket mm. when she worked at Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> when she was the <laughs> night manager. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, the couch was good. I used to have trouble with couches because i could like only sleep on my stomach so it had to be long enough for me to be like fully stretched out yeah but up there i was going on my side my other side a little curled up a little bit that couch is big enough to accommodate you on your belly Mm, i don't think i could fully no i I people don't know you're actually five foot four shh sorry why is it this a patreon with my dad (laughs) no no i'm five four no i know and i'm saying i also admitted to sleeping with Dave T. With your own dad. In my mom's marital bed. Bobby Crane style. I'm the eighth person to share that with him after my mom died. 
Wait, so <laughs> your parents slept put up a notch there on the while you were in high school? No, no, no. So we'll go over to the house that I grew up in across the street. So there's three. There were f- there were four property, four buildings on this property. It's 14 acres here in uh, unaffiliated Elbert County. Not technically in Elizabeth. So like I said, you can call the cops and all the sheriff here to arrest them. <laughs> um, so yeah, this barn burnt down. There was also a horse stable built in 1901 that burnt down like three years ago. I remember calling and my mom was like, it's gone. And I was like, what do you mean? She Your was savings? like, it's gone. <laughs> uh, she just was just when she didn't have enough words. She just kept saying, it's gone, it's gone. And I was like, what is she fucking talking about? But that one burnt down. But we grew up in the house across that was built in like 1890 or something. Whoa. I mean, half of it's underground. It's real like, I'll show you guys after this. So my, we slept over there. But then when this thing got finished, when I was in... It was like summer going into freshman year, and we immediately started just blowing it out in here. <laughs> <laughs> like real bad. You ran through this joint. Oh, yeah, like you and those girls from Boulder. <laughs> and I fell in love with this place as soon as I entered it, much like you did. <laughs> but before it was finished, it was just the foundation was dug out so we could play Army in the tunnels. So that was cool. That got me some play with like the young kids. They'd come over when I was a young kid. <laughs> Y'all get trench foot together. Kathleen Job <laughs> lived right up there, and we went to kindergarten through. And then she left in like 10th grade, and there was always kind of this like, it was like we were brother and sister, but I always assumed that she would take my V, you know? Just kind of like a now and then situation. I was Rosie O'Donnell. She was Christina Ricci. <laughs> <laughs> but I never like made a move. I remember she she was the first girl who saw my penis on accident. No, I was peeing on an electric fence up there by you, the mailbox. You're not supposed to. I know, but I was like, Ren and Stimpy fine. told you not to. Yeah, and guess what? You're such a bad boy. I was trying to impress Kathleen. Jump. <laughs> Did you get zapped? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick got fried. So she saw my dick looking Explode. like Explode. <laughs> yeah, like a hot dog in the microwave. <laughs> it just puffed up and you're like, this is good. And then it popped and you're like, it's not good anymore. <laughs> I'm going to have to be real nice. It did look like a 7 Eleven roller. I don't have a penis anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cartoon. It just shows like one big bone in there. Uh-huh. It's a fish bone. <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton of a fish in my ween. <laughs> <laughs> and then Damn. your penis has big hair that's like stuck on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, cut to my face. There's just smoke coming out of my ears. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Kathleen, go get your mom. Go get Sally. So she saw my ween. But anyway, she moved away. And then she came back like to some party my junior year. And good God, did she have them. Oh, thank God. Dude. I was hoping she would. She had them... <laughs> In a major way, to the point where I was like, who's that chick with the heavy set? And they were like, what do you mean? That's Kathleen. And I was like, no. 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 <laughs> what do you no. mean? It's Kathleen. <laughs> Holy shit, Kathleen, come and lay down on Henry with me. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Kathleen. You saw my dick get zapped by that tricky ass <laughs> fence. And the horses were watching and they ran away when I screamed. <laughs> what do you mean, Kathleen? <laughs> One time you were really mean to Leah Matamalis, and I promised not to tell. <laughs> Can I see one of those things you grew in Smoky Hill? Just one. Yeah, just the cool <laughs> one. I'm a gentleman, so just one will do. Seriously, D. one will do for the next couple weeks as I tweak <laughs> my little nudelet. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to go into the bathroom at Chase Stover's house right now and pound one. <laughs> Double D, Kathleen. I'm going to tell Jesse Kendig, and then he's going to tell Melanie Pfeiffer, and then all of student council's going to know I jerked off at that party at Chase Stover's house. <laughs> that happened, yeah. <laughs> you were accused of making all of that up, and it's hilarious to think that you would. Yeah. That you would take the time to come up with these random names, uh-huh. and then like typical <laughs> high school shit. Yeah. Oh, someone said there you were making up all those full names and stuff? Yeah, that it was all just bullshit. <laughs> and yeah. It's like, what? That would be a crazy move. You did just say Melanie Pfeiffer. Uh-huh. Who was Catwoman? Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Yeah. I thought it was Melanie. I'll get out the yearbooks. The yearbooks are in here. <laughs> He's, got He's got oh, receipts. He's got receipts, yeah. I can point out everyone who had them in the yearbooks. 
Perfect. That could be good Patreon content. <laughs> Me objectifying 16-year-olds. <laughs> you have a GoPro on your head. and you're just yeah. It's POV of you. Yeah. Circle them or cross them out if they didn't have them. Uh, <laughs> their eyes are cut out. <laughs> Wait, so did you end up losing it to that woman? No. The returning? Okay. No, no. Sam yeah. TPOV. Okay. I, thought the, I thought the prophecy was fulfilled. I was it like, holy fulfilled. shit. No, but I remember being like rocked and really upset because so I was like, that's my birthright. <laughs> <laughs> Those mighty mounds should be mine. I was, you know, I was a problematic teen. It's okay. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. I, I, I'm i sorry, Kathleen. Um, I visit your, your tombstone every now and then. I don't think it's problematic to wish that you slept with someone. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I'm always, you're, I'm always worried you're mad at me. She died? <laughs> yeah. She drowned. She slept on her back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really rocked me. I remember Bubba Haas and Kendig were like, what's up? And I was like, have you seen Kathleen Job?" And they were like, yeah. And I was like, this should have been mine. <laughs> what, was she, what was she doing? She just she came was, back. She, had, she was hooked up with somebody? I have no idea. I was like, hey, Kathleen, how are you? <laughs> and she was like, get your white ass out of here. <laughs> She went to Smoky Hill. She was dressed like Biggie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Kathleen, are you a 1980s ghost? She's like, uh-uh. You could still tell she had him, even with the giant Cosby-looking sweater. Dude, it was nuts. And this was the era of the big hoop bangs. Remember that? The Coke bottle bangs? Yeah. She had those, and she was wearing, like, a sweatshirt, and I was like, what's going on? And then later that night, we were all dancing in the basement. She took the sweatshirt off, and there they were, in a spaghetti <laughs> strap t-shirt <laughs> spaghetti straps really everyone says these yoga pants are just creating a, a world of sexual deviant incels who are so <laughs> horny at 14 they don't know what to do <laughs> give me a fucking well hold on <laughs> hold on but just anyway those spaghetti strap shirts really did not do a good job hiding the meat no they weren't they weren't supposed to no they weren't you're supposed to not. see God, Ryan Tube Russell. Top. And go crazy, but also fall in line. Tube top. Yeah. Tube tops are a fantasy. No <laughs> one had a tube top on ever. Who had them? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't allowed. I So there was one girl who had a tube top on who had them, and I remember that got yanked down almost <laughs> before the first bell rung. Jeez. <laughs> it was before Damn. first period started. She had that yanked down. <laughs> I would. I didn't see. I only heard about it. But. <laughs> it was in the school newspaper the next <laughs> yeah, day. Breaking extra, extra. <laughs> what was your guys' mascot? The Cardinals. Well, I'll tell you this, Sam. Uh, you don't know this because you're oblivious. But summer is coming, and that means sweaty dick season. Ooh, one of the worst seasons of all. SDS. <laughs> if you're tired of your dick getting stuck to your balls. And God, your balls, what a dream that would be. And your balls getting <laughs> stuck to your legs. If only. Does that happen? <laughs> it can happen. World. It can and does. Whoa. My guys don't hang out. <laughs> yeah, you're always scared <laughs> yeah. and cold. <laughs> uh -huh. So you don't know about it. But yeah. There's if, the DMZ between my peen and my nads. If you're dealing with, uh, with that situation, <laughs> you need to get sheath underwear. There's two pouches. One for your dick and one for your balls. Or ball. If you have one, that's okay. You're still a man. You're still a person. Excuse He's me. Sam's rocking them right now. That's right. Uh, when you when you use those two pouches, nothing sticks together, so you stay cool and comfortable all summer long. And you also don't have to put your dick in that pouch. It's not like a law or anything. <laughs> you could put change in there. You could put some stamps. Yeah. You could put your Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh -huh. if you're Pat, your yeah. Magic the Gathering cards if you're Sam. Yeah, if you're cheating and you need to hide it like Alex Burton Cheney, use your sheath pouch. Burton Cheaty. No one's ever said that fucking joke before. <laughs> you uh, are wearing them now. How do you feel? Bro, the best part of this whole podcast ascension is that we get all this free gear now, and I've been rocking sheath nonstop, and it rules. Sincerely, it rules. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to try them. I haven't gotten mine yet. You haven't? No, they're at the house. Hmm. I have to come in via mule train to Trinidad. Yeah, the, the, there was a snake in the box, so I got scared. So I, wanna, I want the snake to die before I try to get that. Undie. Was it your own snake? No, my snake is fine. Okay, good. I don't have sheath underwear on, and my balls are really hot. Right Wrecked. Now. Yeah, because your pod sucks, and no one cares. Your shit's ruined. Hey, we get 
about a hundred listeners. Okay? That's crazy. <laughs> Sheath was created. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> More than I would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> Sheaf was created by U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton. General Ted, huh? General Robert. There's a movie based on him. Attention, <laughs> my balls are dry. <laughs> my balls were in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they hit the water in that porta potty. <laughs> I've never been the same. <laughs> They're blue from that fucking chemical. Uh, but yeah, he created them. Uh, he's probably cool. Not only did he make an awesome product, but you can support a veteran-owned company and this podcast at the same time. You're double dipping. I'm a veteran. Of what? The Cola Wars? The chicken, yeah, the chicken sandwich wars of 2019. <laughs> Lost a lot of good teeth in that. Lost a lot of good pickles out there in the shit. <laughs> Lund loves the troops. And I love sheath underwear. There's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Just like your dick and balls. <laughs> yeah. Created well, by God. Uh-huh. Yeah, he must have been drunk. <laughs> and for our ladies in the audience, Whoa. Ch- check out sheaths, sports bras, bikini briefs, and boy shorts. They're not just for boys. God, I love boy shorts on a girl. Yeah, that's a good look. Like volleyball shorts, but you're not peeping. But it's cool. Yeah. Uh, they have tons of cool patterns. So you can have sheath ready for any occasion where your underwear sticks out and <laughs> people want to see the theme involved. <laughs> yeah. What if you uh, didn't bring a swimsuit and you're trying to go swimming? Yeah, yeah, you're at the rec center and everyone's mad because it's your son's birthday, but you won't go swimming. <laughs> you go, yeah, you get in your undies. Good yeah. thing I have my lobster print sheath undies. Yeah, and good thing everyone can see the delineation between my balls and dick due to the pouches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what he wanted over there when he was over there torching huts in Da Nang. <laughs> <laughs> His balls are named Norman D. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only thing that can make this fucking orphanage fire better <laughs> is if my balls weren't touching my dick. <laughs> you can separate your balls and dick, but you can't separate the man from the criminals. No. <laughs> from the crimes. God damn it. He was just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> and you should follow our orders and go to... Put place an order today. Yes. Head to sheathunderwear.com and use code CHUBBY to get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. That's (laughs) sheathunderwear.com, promo code CHUBBY, 20% off your first order. You can use these things and send them back in? (laughs) I guess. This guy's a perv. (laughs) Money-back guarantee. Yeah, that's that's the scam. (laughs) Yeah. And he sells them over in Japan where his secret family lives. If you the people who listen to podcasts are wrecking these undies and then putting them back in the mail. I, I guess, wow. yeah, that's that's he's so Juicy. confident in his product mm-hmm. that if some people don't like it, then yeah, he'll take them back and sell them to some freak. And don't wring them out first. <laughs> yeah, Put them right. in there soaked. Don't wash them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, again, sheathunderwear.com promo code chubby for twenty percent off your first order. Get sheath underwear, support the show, and support your balls. They're legit. Ten hut. You're wearing. <laughs> Grass, huh? <laughs> Napalm. Napalm Lund. Napalm Death. Opening for Cradle of Filth. <laughs> yeah. We did it, right? That's it? We grew up out here. Damn. You was guys there were all like busy uh, watching Degrassi and being like, oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> My feelings. Oh, God. Go Spartans. Yeah. Um, you were Spartans. Did, was there ever like a nudes that leaked? No, we didn't have that. This was, was you had a scandal? Nudes. There was a couple leaked nudes. What? Yikes. Yeah. Not cool, Greeley. <laughs> Tell me high more. high school. <laughs> no. What'd they look like? <laughs> they were nude. You saw it. Yeah, but I was also underage at the time still child pornography so i can't remember exactly what it looked like becker beep that out (laughs) (laughs) i don't have it on me no i don't i didn't want to see it now that'd be a crime back then god (laughs) 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 what i would have done (laughs) there was a girl named becca adams who went on to be a model she was very pretty and one time she asked to wear my letter jacket which Join the Patreon if you want to see a little video of me in the letter jacket. I'll be giving a tour of this on the Patreon, this entire property. I can't wait. It'll be great. You'll be there. Uh, I'm booked. Oh, what are you booked at? I have to go to Best Buy. We're all going to Best Buy after that, too. Yes. Oh, and hell yeah. guess what? 
I think there's some Jack in the Box in your future. Woo, doggy! You gotta have the tacos, Pat. I don't want the damn ass tacos. <sighs> God, what? Why? Yeah. You're so picky. Because <laughs> I don't want tacos from Jack in the Well, meat. we got in and out last night, and you were like, I don't want one. Because I ate 13 nuggets on the drive here. Oh, yeah. You had your secret 40-pack of nuggets. No, <laughs> I got that for the gang. <laughs> yeah, right. Gang, gang. And we got you a double-double, and you were like, I don't want it. There's too much bun. <laughs> <laughs> I only eat triple triples. Yeah. They all got eight, didn't they? I can only eat odd numbered patty sandwiches. It was an extra burgie for you guys. I don't know why you're complaining. Wait, where'd the extra burger go? I'm assuming Dave put it in the fridge. You got a boog you got a boogie. Do I? Yeah. Get it out for me. No. <laughs> Come on. You're in my house. No. <laughs> if you want to be invited to the big mixer, you better get that booger what out of my fuck nose. Is the freshman. big mixer. That's Best Buy. We threw, He's so having flashbacks. In the I'm parking literally lot. glory days in right now. If you guys, <laughs> I am so hard thinking about all the fucked up shit I did in this house. Me and Lund just made eye contact when we saw you flick that booger. I Ooh. wanted to see if I could see how, if it was a big. It was a heavy hanger. It wasn't hanger. that big. It was just a little dipper. Was it a Kathleen Job or was it a Liam Adamalis? It was a Liam Adamalis. <laughs> yeah. Ran into her in the mountains. Liam? That's a cute name for a lady. Leah. Leah. I thought you said Liam. There was the triad. There was the two girls, and then there was me, and then there was Callan Culkin over there. And Callan Culkin wore like a Cradle of Filth shirt all the time and played saxophone. He, <laughs> I played Magic the Gathering with him. <laughs> the saxophone part doesn't make sense, but the other parts make sense. He would wear, he was like the total, like, don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he had a Cradle of Filth shirt for show. Yeah, he had a Jesus is a Cunt shirt that he wore and like got in trouble and had to turn it inside out. And he was like, I'm going home. And they were like, all right, get out of here, Callan. Um, His older brother, Corey, was the biggest, fattest kid ever. Like, legally fat. Like, the <laughs> zookeepers, when they came to show us the Peregrine Falcons, they were like, all right, we're taking off. And then they, like, tried to put a leash on Corey. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in first grade, Corey, no, I was in second grade. Corey was in first grade. And I was like the cool fat kid who broke all the rules. <laughs> that know? was me. Yeah, I was like the surf's up fatty. Ride the wave, I'd slap my gut. Fart Simpson. Yeah, Fart Simpson. <laughs> um, I was Black Bart. And <laughs> <laughs> You said it. What? Black Bart, remember? Back what? then you sprayed in. It never sprayed in, because David Bory was my best friend. That was bars. I've said the N probably ten times in my entire life. And eight of them are to make you laugh. <laughs> that's not true yes <laughs> eight of them were in the five months that you lived together yes they were all condensed because you'd wake up and be like time to say the end <laughs> i think i've said it like 30 times and a lot of that was in high school on a halo 2 xbox live for jesus sure. christ pat but anyway they made me sit down with cory culkin and they were like so this is sam and cory you're cory and we just thought that Sam might be able to be like your your bigger buddy, you know, like your your older brother. And your I fatter thought brother. It, exactly. <laughs> so I never understood. I thought it was because we were neighbors. But no, it was because I was a cool fat kid and he was a maligned human beanbag machine <laughs> who kids would like jump off the second story balcony onto his belly and survive, you know. <laughs> Is that the Cradle of Filth kid? Or no, this was kid? the Cradle of Filth kid's older brother, uh, Corey. And... Callan told me much later on about that story and how his parents always thought I was a saint because I like took Corey in under my wing. They didn't know that it was arranged by the school. <laughs> so when I told them that later on, they, they like totally took the flower off of that lily pad. <laughs> but Callan told me he walked in on Corey whacking off one time. And to was, you. Yes, to a framed photo <laughs> of me. No fucking way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he said that he couldn't like reach his peen, so he was just laying on his back, wiggling <laughs> around. <laughs> That's how he <laughs> just wiggling around while looking at a porno magazine. Oh my god! <laughs> just this maneuver. <laughs> Shit, that's rough. Did you teach him that or no? <laughs> yeah, in second grade. I was like, look, uh, it's gonna get further and further away. <laughs> he had to rub with his yeah, chub. Yeah, <laughs> but he was on his back. He was on his back, like he's so trying he to flip over. He could have. He yeah, could have porno mag over his face like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's working out too. That's how like super fat people have to work out. They just gotta roll back and forth in bed. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that on my six hundred pound line? Yeah, and it's the how they don't get bed sores and shit. <laughs> oh god. I, oh, that sucks, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's dark. We might see Corey at Walmart later. Also, He's alive Co- still? Why wouldn't Corey? Like, you turn over, you're, like, fucking the bed. There's friction. No, there's no, better. You're on your back. So there's, he, he was fucking what? his own did gut. Did he have T-Rex on? Gut his thighs. Gut fucking. He was really big, guys. He couldn't get under there? I don't think so. That sucks. Like, you know how big fat people can't wipe? Uh, I guess so. They can't do anything that starts with a W. <laughs> <laughs> they can't whack. They can't wipe. Win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stay winning. Stay winning. As long as there's Uber Eats. What's that band called? Behemoth? The uh, Behemoth? That's Chubby the Behemoth? This podcast? <laughs> That's the name of the My pod. My friend Josh Romero in high school had a uh, Behemoth shirt, and it was camo, and it just said Christians to the Lions, and he would wear that to school all the time. Damn. Whoa. That was cool. One and he was allowed because of separation of church and state. Yeah. Just yeah. kidding. We- yeah, West, really West didn't care, I guess. It was the First Amendment, right? I don't know. He's like, I played the fifth. <laughs> fifth. One time we were in here, and there was a big Magic the Gathering tournament the next day. And we were all preparing in here. Me, Jan Sakak, Brad, and Callan. <laughs> Mount up regulators. <laughs> 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 Everybody quit dicking around. This is serious. This is the next <laughs> next day is do or die. We took it so seriously. I, I'll bet you did. Oh my god! Somebody tried to put music on, and you're like, "No, no music. We have to concentrate." <laughs> don't just, forget. Don't to forget strategize. to set your side deck too. That's important. Sideboard, but yeah, you only get 15 Yu-Gi-Oh extra guy. cards. Uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh guys, guys, you guys were losers. <laughs> Just Meanwhile, a little cut younger. to us smoking pyramid lights inside. <laughs> I was a WWE Raw Deal guy. Oh. Real ones will know. Jansen Cock. That was a card. Another round of quesadillas. That was a card game. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. He it's won't shut sick. Up about I it. wish if anybody has a bunch of those cards, send them to Sam because I would love to teach. Them WWF how to play. Raw Deal. We were watching what so. the other day? Oh, we were watching that Girls Gone Wild documentary. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And you were like, the Girls Gone Wild show makes me want to play <laughs> WWF Raw Deal. <laughs> you made the voice more autistic. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how you talked when you were excited. You're evolving. Yeah. <laughs> He's a nuanced character. <laughs> You're not a baby anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm growing. Yeah, you've got FBA. I'm featuring for you now. Yeah, isn't that weird? No. I crush. I absolutely destroy. You flounder. Anyway, <laughs> we were about to go to the Junior Super Series the next day. I think in New Mexico. I think we were driving to fucking Whoa. Santa Fe. And there was this, this was guy sanctioned Doug. play? Oh, yeah. This was big. This was DCI. Uh, <laughs> the Duelist Convocational Inverna- in, in International. So, yeah. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Those yeah. guys sucked. You, were, you called yourself duelists or no? No, I, that's what DCI. You had a DCI number that was given to you if you wanted to play in tournaments. And it was the duelist Convocational International is what it was. Why did they have to name it? That? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Doug Muster's sitting over there, and he was like your classic, like Callan aspired to be Doug. And Doug was going to sleep in that chair, and he had his trench coat on, his fingerless gloves on, and his fucking boots. He had don't these, come like, to school tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> he had these insane boots. And I remember if I don't wearing, win this tournament, don't go to school fully, on Monday. <laughs> yeah. He was giving Klebold. Yes. He admired Klebold. <laughs> He was a big Klebold guy, and he was older than us, so he would buy us cigarettes and beer. But anyway, he was over there, and I remember laying here, and out of nowhere, Clay DeHaan went, are you going to sleep with your boots on? <laughs> and Doug took his boots off, and there was a Bowie knife in the boot. <laughs> and he, like, dumped what? it out like Blazing Saddles, and a knife came out, and a lighter <laughs> came out, Whoa. and it reeked. <laughs> this whole house reeked. It smelled like cigarettes, melted cups of cheese, Ugh. and fucking Doug Musser's feet. Dude, these shoes you gave me, when I started wearing them, it activated your old sense in there, and it was so vile. Dude. Oh, no. My mom yeah. was pissed at me. <laughs> you should have washed them. I did. I bet she washed them. Uh, in the the insoles. I washed the insoles. Yeah. You're going to have to watch, wash all of them in, have, with fire. No, they're fine now. I have tremendous foot. I used to have really bad foot. But yeah. You stank, bro. You wear sockless shoes. I used to. It's but I've evolved move. a lot. I've evolved a lot. Like a Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to be like you, and now I'm like me. <laughs> and when someone shows me the Moonstone, I'll go full Lund. <laughs> I reduce. I go, Lund, we were... Lund, Lund. <laughs> I want to be Squirtle. <laughs> you are Squirtle. Yeah, yeah. And you're more of a war turtle, actually, and I'm Blastoise for sure. I like that. Yeah. Okay, I don't I don't know. So war turtle. I'll, I'll go with it. That's me. Squirtle, Squirtle. 
You uh, know water gun. No. I know hydro pump. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Blastoise was my guy. Yeah, because he representation's important. Yeah, <laughs> he's he had like a looking hump a as well. <laughs> yeah, round. It was round. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so what happened with the tournament? Uh, Jancicock, I think, Jancicock won like the Junior Super Series and got a giant scholarship from it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got to go to nationals and he got fucking wrecked in Kansas City. Damn. Yeah. I play so much. What was Catan. the meta back then? Uh, I remember. Oh, so you, seriously? Yeah. What okay. was the what? Meta. Meta. Meta is what what decks were most prevalent. What was mm. the ecosystem? Affinity, the artifact deck, was number one. Everyone was playing that, and Jancicock played it to great success, involving Disciple of the Vault and Sacrifice Outlets. And I played red with like four main deck shatter effects, and boy did I scrub out early. And then I just had to go stand near the tables with a pen in my ear, staring at Jancicock, thinking, he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was everything. He's going to get so much pussy from this with his giant Bill Clinton-esque head. Dude. We called him Bill Clinton's head. <laughs> be like, BCH is on num- table number two. <laughs> he's on a roll. <laughs> yeah. In Greeley, in middle school, I would go to this place every weekend called Digital Dungeon. Oh, my God. I went to Digital Dungeon for a tournament. Yeah. Yes. Ed, dude, he'd make you do 10 push-ups to use his phone. Yes. <laughs> did you ever go to could Valhalla's you do Game Center? Could you no. do 10? Yeah. I was in sixth grade. Of course, I could do 10 push-ups. Yeah. I, I was still I, playing I don't know how back you then. You were 240 pounds in sixth grade. <laughs> My mom would give me 20 bucks and just leave me there for eight hours. Yes. Was, like, play Mage Nights. That was Collector Mania for me on Cottonwood Road. God, those were the days. It smells like B.O. in there. Dude. <laughs> How the bad? fattest guys of all It smelled time. like Fedora Head. <laughs> <laughs> it was dog shit. I, I remember. Dude, so Collector Mania sold comic books, and I was in there on a Friday night playing Friday Night Magic, and Zach Toll and his girlfriend came in, and I told Zach I couldn't hang out that night because I had to do something else because I had this whole secret life. No one knew I played Magic besides the kids I played Magic with. Otherwise, I was like... You had a Blood eight. Oath. I had a Blood... That was a great card. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it cost four. So, Zach came in and he's like, Sam? And I was like, no. <laughs> no. It's like, over. It was totally... It's you over, You jump dude. out a window. <laughs> yeah, and then Zach started telling people about my Friday night friends. And it was it was really bad for me. Damn. Yeah. That's they didn't I, I think that's when I started the punk rock band to get my revenge to get <laughs> as a distraction yes <laughs> i can play magic and football too i could not you were, yeah, i you couldn't were, let it happen you're multifaceted i hated it you contain multitudes this is i've never talked about magic in this way publicly on this giant of a platform the, i have a couple people are oozing their pants but besides <laughs> that everyone else is everyone's pissed, pissed. Everyone, <laughs> yeah everyone's like no I have uh, fantasies of, like, because I play Catan and Risk on my phone a lot. And I'm like, oh, what if I, like, was able to win tournaments and stuff? And it's like, shut up. Some people, like, play one or the other 24-7. Yeah. And so I would get wrecked like Jancicock. I get exposed. I mean, Jancicock earned his spot. He earned that scholarship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. That's a victory. But Nationals. He was, like, on the under-16 national team. God, I love him. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I miss those days. So yeah, I would have like magic like nights in here, and then next night would be like poker night with Chris White, and all the all the football guys would come over, and I would just fucking fleece them for their cash. Then we'd throw bangers in this house. A lot of people lost their virginity. Lonzo Sandrin lost his virginity against the wall out back, and the girl that like blessed him had a bunch of splinters all over her back. Oh afterward. fuck! Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, so I remember she came in and she was like crying, and Bonzo was like. <laughs> and it was like he had a glow what had a, just happened had a glow about him <laughs> yeah. yeah what did he do to her why is she crying and then they took her upstairs and they uh, all the girls took splinters out of her back <laughs> yeah Jeez. was it her virgo too no no she was uh she was a crafty veteran nice respect <laughs> i don't think a girl loses her virginity standing up with her back to a barn that's probably correct yeah but neither do fellas usually no bonzo was uh He's a late bloomer like you. Wait, did you you didn't lose yours in the no. former barn? It was a different barn. No, that barn was not. You couldn't an go actual in there. barn. Yeah, it was full of pigeon shit and like yeah, you just read years and years of like hanta virus from all the mice. But yeah, you were in a barn. I was in a barn, yeah, on Cody Hockaday's land at his graduation party. How he old was, were you? I was. I could drive. I was sixteen. Mm, I was fifteen. Yep. In a trailer. 
Where, Henderson, where, Nevada. <laughs> in a trailer. In Marilyn Nevada. Manson girl. Yeah. <laughs> I was terrified. She was babysitting. We closed the door on like a 10-month-old and a 2-year-old, and we are like, watch TV. No. Five minutes. You jeopardized the life of two innocents? Yeah, for sure. So you could spill your rotten seed? From Manson's That's been poem. happening for ever. Had to, had to do it. I, yeah. I, I had to take my shot. I'm glad you did, because if you were a late bloomer, that would have sucked. I couldn't be on this pod with two losers <laughs> right now. I'm not a loser. Being a late bloomer is fine. I'm not a loser. <laughs> and what are you I just, hey, Milo, he says like college. a loser. Yeah. I just, my, <laughs> all I'm my friends pu- were going through puberty, and I just, just still didn't have any fucking hair anywhere. You were pubeless late? <laughs> Till like, not like super late. How late? Like I think 17? I not, like freshman you, year I started like late oh, freshman year. I thought you were smooth when you lost your virginity. <laughs> no, <laughs> twenty and a half. God, oh. that would have freaked her out. <laughs> no, I did like learn how to orgasm super early because I put, don't call it learning how to <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> well, I like found my mom's back massager and oh. I like put it on my dick and I like orgasm. I remember passing <laughs> around. I was like ten. <laughs> oh my. God. <laughs> Nothing comes out, but I was like, oh, fuck. Nothing came out? This rules. No, I was 10. I remember having a boner in the shower as a kid and peeing out of it, and it felt really good with the hot water on the back of my neck, and I was like, I'm jizzing. <laughs> this is jizzing. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. I don't even have to touch it. I can just jizz whenever I want in the shower as long as the water's on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I've cracked the code. Yeah, I thought that was jizzing. Uh, one, <laughs> one time I was being watched by my cousin... Joey, oh, who died, R.I.P. Uh, but him and his friend were over, and they had like a uh, Jerry uh, Springer like uncensored oh, video. Whoa. And they're like, "Stay up here. We're gonna watch this in the basement." And I kept trying to go down there, and then his friend kept calling me Big Gay Al. And then, um, <laughs> and then afterwards, they were like, they came back upstairs, <laughs> and uh, they were like, "Oh, that was awesome! I let I'm really hungry now." And I, from then on, I was like, "Damn!" After you watch sex stuff, you're hungry. <laughs> I just thought you were hungry after. So they jerked off together down there. I don't know if they jerked off or just watched it. Well, why or did what? they come up and like high five and say, "Time for I, tater tots, I, bro"? I don't know. <laughs> Now that we just watched that video, <laughs> separate know. couches. I need some pizza rolls. I thought, <laughs> hey, big gay out. Get in the kitchen. Whip us up. Turn, some of your- <laughs> turn the oven on. <laughs> yeah, put your head in it. <laughs> the, the Get in there. <laughs> big gay out. I bet that hurt your feelings, didn't it? Yeah, I think it did. There's something so great about just the lack of care and effort and imprecision put into copying a already South a South Park <laughs> reference and calling a younger boy that and being like, <sighs> my job is done here. Got his ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, you still got it, Casey. <laughs> You're the best. Uh, yeah, they were burnouts. I was pissed because I was like, I can, my mom can leave me at home. I don't fucking need to be watched. Ugh. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. <laughs> I'm Big Boy Al. I told my mom, and I think she laughed. I'm She's Weird like, Al. Big Gay Al, that's funny. <laughs> like you're fucking pubeless, Pat. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad left. I'm both now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm NB now. <laughs> I'm your they them mom. I'm your parent. My dad outed me for having pubes to my entire family. <laughs> That's normal and cool. It sucked. He was giving me a bath. <laughs> what? Why? Is that a bit? At thirteen? What the fuck? <laughs> In sixth grade, <laughs> I tore my patella tendon in my knee. Oh, okay, oh. okay. <laughs> I had a cast on my leg for like all of sixth grade. Nick Salazar tackled me from behind and I tore out my tendon. So my dad <laughs> was in the bath and he had to like help me bathe. <laughs> he had to wipe you. <laughs> and he went, holy shit, Betts, <laughs> he's got hair down there. <laughs> the hair down there. I was, <laughs> it was awful. That was the same year that my mom yelled at me for the porn store that I had. <laughs> So in like, your pants? Like, yes. So all sexuality was cursed from then on. My mom being like, is this what you think love is? Are your friends doing this to each other? No, mommy. I'm still your good little boy. And then my dad yelled, hey, Bets, he's got it. He's bushed up. <laughs> my grandma was in the kitchen. You guys will see. 
The <laughs> fucking bathroom in the old house is right by the kitchen. And I remember dad, you know, like, he's got hair down there. <laughs> and I had to go out there Little. and like hobble on my crutches in front of my grandma. And now she knows that I've got hair <laughs> down there. Whoa, that's brutal. Yeah, he was bathing me. That's kind of <laughs> like when the kid breaks his arms and his mom sucks him off that Reddit post, you know. Oh, like, yeah. What? But it's like my I dad broke my leg. Suck me <laughs> my dad has to bathe me. Yeah. <laughs> he saw my pubes. He saw my little just the just the seedlings sprouting. God, that sucked. I forgot about that until right now. <sighs> Man, I'm glad we're I'm glad we're in here so that you can unlock some of these memories that were behind a paywall. Dude. A paywall of shame. Yeah. <laughs> hey Matt. <laughs> no, oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Still have James about that bathtub. You guys are you guys bath people to this day? No. I'm not big gay Al. <laughs> we Megan and I didn't have a bath until Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Garrison. <laughs> What well, was he like, Mr. Garrison's? Well, Wasn't there slave as well? Slave no. was later, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Gay Al had the like Big Gay Animal Emporium. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Uh, that was back when being gay on TV was crazy. Taboo. It was, it was Big Gay Al and Ellen, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, and Al Borland. No, he came out as gay at the last episode. Did he? Yeah, and then he ended up like it was like he had lipstick on. He had lipstick on, and he was holding hands with the middle son. And they hopped on his hog and they rode no, away. Okay. <laughs> While Wilson jacked it, yeah. you could hear him Thumping his the hand fence. up against the. F- <laughs> <laughs> he got splinters in his back. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Wilson, why are you up against the fence like that instead of peeking over? Shut up, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> You're blowing it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. Oh shit. <sighs> yeah, this house. Me and David Borey coming here on our off hour, melting cups of cheese and smoking like backwoods in here. What 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 do you mean by melting cups of cheese? David's thing was he would get like melted like shredded, shredded mozzarella cheese, put it in a cup, put it in the microwave for exactly twenty two seconds, and then twirl a spoon in there and eat it like a big melted lollipop. <laughs> that, that's kind of a fire little snack. Yeah. I always thought it was weird, but then I tried it and I was like. It's good protein. We're not going to third period. <laughs> this is our thing this now. This is our thing now. Yeah, just melting cups of cheese, smoking backwards, and wondering why girls wouldn't talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> I think Respect. I knew the answer. Yeah. <laughs> you reeked. I reeked. My letter jacket reeked like cigs. I but it still does. It smells good. It smells like the it smells like upstairs. All right. Yeah. It's been heaven. Hanging. Yeah. It smells like heaven. Mm-hmm. We have to do ad reads too. Okay. Where are we at? Uh, <laughs> 55 minutes. Hell yeah. Nice. We're the best. We are. <laughs> we are. The three of us. Yeah, we're the best. Three of us. On the two of us. Yeah, yeah. me and you, Lund. No. No, Big Gay Al. <laughs> <laughs> you're the third. Me, you're ta- me you're and War tally. Turtle. All you're right. Tally. <laughs> you're Mr. You're Mr. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your hands. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who got fucked by the horse. <laughs> oh, j- Jesus Christ. <laughs> did you guys Mr. ever watch hands. that? Did you watch that? Hell yeah. yeah. I, I never did. <laughs> what? I never did. Pause it. I, I, did, <laughs> I did not want to. I heard it video. scrubbed from the internet. That can't yeah, be true, right? I, I could find it in two seconds. I remember, I remember like a, a still or something, <laughs> and I was like, no. Dude. It's got to be rough. It's got to it, be awful. Yeah, it wasn't a delicate, beautiful thing. It wasn't cool. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you in that trailer in Henderson. Mm. Yeah. It of was. course the guy that showed me all that shit like, grew up to be like a 4chan Republican. That's what it, that's what it does. Fucking crazy. <laughs> the internet was so nasty back then. You could have whatever you wanted whenever you wanted it. Ogreish. Oh, my God. Ogre-ish? Pain Olympics? Ugh. I that shit was fake, that. though, I think. The dick in the... Uh, yeah. Just, like, stabbing the head of the dick. Oh, God. That was the, me. I was doing the Pain Olympics for Kathleen Job on the electric fence. You put <laughs> you put a light bulb in your ass and it broke. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut up. I remember hearing about that. God. My friends would watch those and talk about them, and I passed. I didn't want to uh, experience. We got a lot of some. people on Xbox Live with me at spin.com. Oh, meat spin. Me at spin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, check out our website, me at spin.com. Yep. Which one was that? Meat spin. What was the It was like two site. 
gay. It was like two fellas having. Let's not sex. assume that they're gay just because they're fucking. <laughs> it was two folks having sex. They both had penises, and the person being ass fucked was like spinning their dick in a circle in the song. You spin me <laughs> right <laughs> round, baby, and it would oh, loop, and it would count how many <laughs> loops you watched. Yeah. It. Oh <laughs> shit! And that. then send it to your parents. <laughs> then yeah. send it to the college your you were in. Cam was on. Yeah. <laughs> So Facebook was founded. <laughs> Zuck. Uh, shit. Zuck has the record for the most meat spins. Yeah, he just played it. He, like, he fell asleep to it. Smoked meats. <laughs> it was like he me going asleep. to bed to Love Line. <laughs> like the comics that let their albums play on Spotify. Yeah, God. Uh, All night. Ugh. Don't listen to fucking comedy on Spotify. There's a there's at least one comic that... that Jay Gillespie did that. Did it. All of my yeah. music, if you listen to my music on Spotify, it immediately goes to stand-up comedy, right? At, it's so annoying. Yeah. It's you put some more vocal fry in your throat, Adam Friedman? Uh, <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I hate it so I much. Hate that. Such a weird move. Uh, I'm not right doing now. it intentionally. I'm so lazy. I'm big I don't gay out. talk right. I better stay upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you guys done down there? <laughs> Is it my turn? <laughs> I want to play NFL Blitz before mom comes home. <laughs> I want a jacket to Twisted Metal. Oh, my God. <laughs> it smells like Russian olive down here. <laughs> it smells like what? Russian olive. You said that yesterday. It's what cum smells like. It smells like oh. Russian olive trees. This, this oh, the white those ones? are the ones that... Yeah. There's a, it th- does. They're called something else, too, I think. Everyone's cum must not smell like that, because some people are like, what the fuck are you talking when about? When I was vegan, my what cum smelled so about? good. Uh, and now that I'm back on the meat, it just reeks. Bad, yeah. Yeah. How, you were I just bet yours is fucked. It's fine. It sucks, because it's in there for like three months at a time, <laughs> and it explodes out of your body. <laughs> you retain? I No, it's not three months. I just don't jack it Low every tea. day like I used to. I don't jack it every day I like s- I used to. I like to be all pent up and on edge. I like for it to no hit fat. me in the face. Did, have you ever... <laughs> Dude, there was I've a time when I good ones. there was a time when I was jacking and like getting laid or whatever, but still, I blasted and it like shot like over my head. I was like, holy! I've I was laying that down. Before. It was wild. I've gotten that couldn't before. believe it. That's the that's good stuff. <laughs> that's when I realized, oh, the blind thing actually is real. You you'll shoot your eye out. Is that's actually. what they meant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you jerk oh. it enough, I didn't you're know you're gonna that get meant. it in your uh, eye. I nice. fucking. Held it in for two weeks. There's a chair in that house. I'll show you guys. I used to flip <laughs> the cushion over. And come on it? Oh, yeah. Ugh. I would stand over the chair in my room and blast on it. I would flip the cushion over, <laughs> blast on it, and then flip it back over and sit <laughs> on it and play Madden. What the fuck, <laughs> dude? My fucking Dell computer. <laughs> my fucking Dell in my room was just caked in cum. God. I just would shoot it on the tower. We should burn some on sage in tower. that room because <laughs> oh. you wrecked it forever. I did, yeah. My God. Yeah, when I inherit that house, the first thing I'm going to do is burn it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Kathleen Job's older brother over here. It's a family, smoke some cig. family tradition. Why do you smoke? Remember that song? No, I don't think so. Hank 2? Yeah, I didn't listen to Hank 2. Oh, Hank 2 rips. We'll listen to some on the way to the skate park. No. <laughs> yes. No. You yes. guys going to wear your ponchos at the skate park? That would be epic. Oh, we should do a poncho reveal. <laughs> Wait for the Patreon. Join the Patreon, everyone. Chubby Behemoth on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Chubby Behemoth. We are ramping up. Get the camera. Show them the camera, Pat. Yeah, we got this camera off Craigslist. We fleeced a college kid in Fort Collins for it. Yeah, we rooked a boy. We're going to get a fucking mic on there. Pat's coming on the road with me for the next foreseeable future. Lund, do you want to tell him about Japan? You're going to Japan. And so are you. Oh. Lund's coming to Japan with me. Maybe Pat. Someone has to fucking film it. Domo. 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 But yeah, join the Patreon so we can do these big, wacky fucking videos for you guys. Yeah. We're about to go film one of my parents' property. And we're going to start doing uh, Sam T. POV, where he goes through his yearbooks. And <laughs> <laughs> flat, shows you flat. who had the boots. <laughs> the boots made of fur yeah. with the machete in it uh-huh. <laughs> and the lighter and the <laughs> compass. Yes. <laughs> Sam T. POV, so you can see what it's like to be. 
Sam T. It sucks. I'm always bumping my head off of things. What oh, else? Uh, I, I will be in Washington, D.C. on June 8th, me and Pat. And yet she persisted. We're going to go to the RBG Memorial. You're going to go to RBs, and it's going to be a memorial when you're done in there. I'm a G <laughs> at RBs, RBG. <laughs> you go into RBs, and they're like, damn, he just killed the club. <laughs> <laughs> Baltimore's second show out of June 9th. Pottstown at Soul Joe's Joel's the 10th. Uh, Pittsburgh at Kingfly Distillery the 11th. Uh, Milwaukee, fourth show added. Uh, Go Brewers. uh, Go, yeah, fucking Dallas. Dallas, June 24th. Houston, June 23rd. Get tickets to those. Dallas. It's at Hyenas Fort Worth. For the love of God, buy tickets. I'm going to look like a real fucking big gay (laughs) owl. I'll be be down there. London will be there. I'll be in Houston and Dallas. Uh, June 9th, I will be in Tulsa as a part, uh, closing out the Insult Attack Roast Battle uh, comedy show. That's 10 bucks. Uh, June 10th, I'll be at uh, the 51st Street Speakeasy, I believe, uh, in Oklahoma City. Uh, that's presented by James Neem and Robot Save City Comedy. Can we talk comedy. about this real quick? What? Why do you plug the show producer? I don't know. Who cares? Well, why do you, you Why do you nitpick every time I try to plug shows? Well, no, no, no. It's just because you keep. I go on too long. I don't say enough stuff. I can never do it right in your I eyes. Mean, I wanted to ask you this. You've who, been he's plugging. a comic. He's a friend. I don't. Who cares? Okay. All right. I'm just. Ask, I can't ask a question. God, no. Not when it's like so weird and nitpicky and just, just fucking dumb. Me Why do you Kobos mention a comic who you haven't done that? You haven't said young blood or anything? Thick skin. I don't Nobody cares about your production. Don't company. plug anything. <laughs> it's things Kobos that people can search to find skin. more information because I don't have a website because I'm an idiot. Oh, dude, Denver. you do have a website and that guy bought every Oh my god. He is you need to get that shit from Ball Soup. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because he, every website that could be yours, he owns now. Okay. Yes. Hire Melissa to make you a site. Jude, yes. You need to get on your website. Because he's like, keeps messaging me and being like, Lund doesn't give a shit about this fucking website. I'm going to do whatever I want with it. He okay. should, oh, ball soup. Put meat spin on LathanLund.com. No, don't <laughs> yes. do it. Yes. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> what? I hate Too sweet. Too sweet. He hates me and he does it. Wrestling's gay. You want to play a wrestling card yeah, game. Yeah, it's got cool mechanics. It's not about the... And I want to be stand back. There's a hurricane. <laughs> I got a cool mechanic for you, pal. <laughs> That's not cool. It's greased. <laughs> it's I'm gonna lubed. flip you over like that couch cushion in my parents' house. <laughs> What's that couch's name? Ooh, Hungy <laughs> Bukaki. <laughs> yeah, he's Hungy Henry. We're done. <laughs>